He is the owner of the Fit Club in Palmer. Now, before we get to cooking, Jessica, yes. what colors do you think the dress is? I see white and gold. Right? <laughs> yes, white and gold. Totally. I definitely see white and gold. I don't even know where the blue and black comes from, but hey, it's a debate. We'll see how long it goes. Let's talk about uh, cooking now. Absolutely. Great. Healthy recipe, something you can make in advance, put in your refrigerator or your freezer, and enjoy it stress-free the night after. Absolutely. Um, I usually make a meal on a, sun, on a Sunday mm -hmm. and we eat it throughout the week. I mean, we're only a family of two for now. And, uh, you know, so this may last either a one night, two nights, or three nights, depending on, but I always make a big meal because if you're really busy and you come home, you know, and you still want to eat healthy, this is a way you always have a go-to meal and, and you don't have to feel guilty about. So today is the spaghetti squash egg bake. Spaghetti squash yes. egg bake. All right. So what's the first step? I'm assuming well, you cook the spaghetti squash first. Yes. You can put this in the oven. You cut it in half. Uh, you put it face down on a bake sheet in about 400 degree oven until you can pierce the skin with a fork. Okay. okay. So it depends on the size of how long to bake it. 25 to 45 minutes about. And then you scoop everything out? Yep. Right. You can, you can actually uh, take the seeds out if you want. Hold it up and yep. um, you put the seeds right, right in into okay. there. Yep. Take the seeds out. Just the seeds. Yep. Oh, just the seeds. Absolutely. Okay. It's so what do you have going on in the frying pan, Jessica? Right in here, I have some coconut oil with some shallots, some onions, and some tomatoes that I let um, uh, roast on here for, you know, about, about 15 minutes. I like that extra flavor of mm -hmm. getting it a little brown and stuff. But it, it's ready to add other ingredients to now. I'm just going to turn up the heat a little bit. I'm struggling. <laughs> okay. I, I, we're going to lose some spaghetti squash. No, that's okay. Sorry. I, you don't have to be perfect at this. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Good, because um, I'm not. All then right. I'm going to add some fresh herbs. Here I have cilantro. Mm -hmm. Throw those in. And you could obviously use any herbs that you like. Absolutely. Anything you have on hand. Okay. If you plan on cooking a different meal that week and you have uh, parsley or whatever, some basil, some sage, you can throw that in too, which is nice because you can use different flavors in this. All right. Okay. So then you add it right to the pan. Yep, you you right. mix all that together. Absolutely. And then we're going to take some spinach. Okay. Yep. And uh, How much should I take? Um, take a couple handfuls. We're just doing a, a half of a recipe here. A couple handfuls. More? Just throw, yep. One more. Throw it right on top. There you go. Okay. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just cover this. All right. And let that steam a little bit. All, all right. right. So, so far all of that's just in one pan. Absolutely. And then you have your squash. Squash. Correct. So now do I s scrape this out into the bowl? No. Nope, we're going to actually put that into here in just oh. a moment. Okay. While um, this is cooking a bit, we're going to take the eggs. We're gonna crack them and put them in the bowl here. Okay. And we got some cheese here. Again, you can use any cheese you like. I like using a soft, creamy cheese mm -hmm. uh, for this recipe. Um, but you add it in right into the egg. This is all freshly shaved. So what kind of cheese is that? This is a smoked gouda. This is what I had on hand. So oh. we're gonna whip that egg up. Oh sure, yep. you got Just it. Just whip it right up. Okay. Just two egg. eggs. Yep. Okay. Well, and the recipe is four. Again, we're making half a recipe here. All right. Um, so you can make it as big or as small as you like, depending on how how much you want for the week. Right. Exactly. So. And then you can always freeze it so yep. that you can take it out later. And it's already the done. Cheese right in. And here's gouda. Yep. It's really there gouda. We go. Oh, it's so yummy. Right. Yep. Just put that right in. Right okay. Up. Mixing Look it together. That. Beautiful. And I'm just going to stir around the spinach with the tomato and the onion shallot and the fresh herbs right here. Oh, it smells so good. Mm, doesn't it? All right. And next we can just, um, let's scrape this base squash in Okay. Here. There you go. Absolutely. Teamwork in the kitchen. That's right. That's how it should be. And this is so easy. Just take a fork um, and, and scrape the strands right out. So there's nothing to be scared about with spaghetti squash. It is a really cool it's, vegetable. It's so easy and it's so uh, versatile, the things you can make with it. Um, I have a lot of recipes with uh, spaghetti, uh, spaghetti squash. So you then so you put good. that in there. Now just to fast forward for TV's sake, the cheese and the egg is here. Do we add that to that? Or? Nope. We're going to throw okay. the rice in. This is going to be real quick. Rice and? This is a rice and quinoa, quinoa blend. Okay. Okay. Um, Pre-cooked, obviously. Throw and it you all just, in the pan? Yep. We just throw it all in the pan here. And what we do is we mix that all around. We're yep. going to add it into here. And okay. then, okay, and, and then, then you pour the egg on top. You pour the egg on top, and you can show them what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Okay, so uh, we're gonna take that out of the oven, and we'll plate it up, and we'll show you. We'll finish that recipe, and we'll show you the finished product in just a bit. That it's all done, right? That that's almost done. Absolutely. And we'll mix it all together. Perfect. Yep. And we'll show you how it looks at the end, and then you have to try it at home, right? Thanks so much, Jessica. <laughs> we'll show it off Thank at the you. end of the show.